On September 11th, 2001, something sad happened by enemies flying planes. Terrorists killed thousands of people in New York City and Washington, D.C. when they flew planes into buildings. It was devastating. Today I'm going to tell you a true story about a man named Colonel Jacob DeShazer, and he lived during a different attack on America. December 7, 1941, without warning, the Japanese bombed and sunk most of the U.S. military ships that were anchored peacefully in Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. It was the beginning of World War II for America, and Jacob was angry. He hated the Japanese for what they did. He wanted revenge, so he became part of a secret, dangerous mission a group called the Do Little Raiders, and their job was to fly B-25 bombers over Japan and bomb Japan. Once they were up there, he smelled smoke. Hey, he said, they're shooting at us, he shouted. Even though the plane had a huge hole in it, they continued finish bombing Japan, and then the plane flew close to China, headed for China. You also have to know that Japan was taking over parts of China. Now Jacob had to jump out of his plane with the parachute on into complete darkness. Where would he land? Would he land in friendly China? Or would he land in enemy territory, Japan? Where do you think? Fat bam! He hit the ground. With sore ribs, he tried to find a place to hide and sleep for the night. In the morning, he got up and started walking around. Where was he? Friendly China or Japan? He was in the enemy territory of Japan, and soldiers surrounded him with guns and a knife on his back. They marched him to the prisoner of war camp. They blindfolded him, handcuffed him, questioned him, and tortured him. I will not talk, he said. The Japanese officer was furious. He took out his sword and he started to slice the air above his head, threatening to cut it off. But they didn't. Instead, Jacob got life imprisonment. They threw him in a little room, like a cell room, and that's where he was alone for a very, very long time. Hardly anything to eat. No sushi. When he heard that one of the prisoners died of starvation, you know, Jacob hated the Japanese, but now he hated them even more, so much that he almost lost his mind. Eventually, the Japanese allowed them to read books, and one of the books was a Bible. And Jacob grabbed that Bible, even though that when he was little, he ran away from it because he said it was boring. He took that Bible with him into his cell, and he read it over and over and over again. He was fascinated about the prophetic word in the Old Testament about Jesus, and he was more fascinated about Jesus and what he did for the people and how he died on the cross and rose again. Could he be God? Jacob kneeled down in his cell and he believed that Jesus was his savior. From that point on, his heart changed. He was happy. He was so happy he forgot he had life imprisonment. He really wanted to obey God's commandments. But of course, one of them was really, really hard. It was Matthew 5, 44. Love your enemies and do good to those who hurt you. Could he do this? I mean, he hated the Japanese. He hated these prison guards. They punched him. They kicked him. They tortured him. But he tried to love his enemies. There was actually a point when the hatred finally left. And he loved the Japanese. He actually felt sorry for the guards. The guards were shocked because every time they looked at him, he would say, good morning, how is your family? Are they well today? 
After being in prison for over three years, the paratroopers finally landed, rescued Jake, and took him back to America to be with his family. His family was surprised that he wanted to be a missionary, guess where? In Japan! He wrote a little book called, I Am a Prisoner of Japan, or I Was a Prisoner of Japan, all about his experience. And they sent it to Japan and a million copies were handed out. So by the time he got to Japan with his wife Florence and his son, he was already known. He already started to tell everyone about Jesus in all the stadiums and the churches. People asked him, why would you come back to Japan when you were a prisoner and you were tortured? He was able to tell them how God's love changed hearts. Now, Mitsuo Fuchida, hopefully I said that right, was the top pilot of Japan and he led the attack on Pearl Harbor. He was a national hero, but when Japan was defeated, he didn't really have anything else. He worked on his family farm and he was unhappy, but then someone gave him Jake's book. He read it. He read every word. This Christ, how does he change hate into love? He started reading more about Jesus in the Bible, and he was impressed that Jesus prayed for his enemies while dying on the cross. Jesus says, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. He cried, and Mitsuo bowed down and believed in Jesus as his Savior as well. He wanted to meet Jake. And when he met Jake, they became very good friends and they traveled all through Japan telling everyone that God's love changes enemies into friends. Colonel Jacob DeShazer and his wife Florence were missionaries in Japan for 30 years. And then on March 15, 2008, he went to be with God in heaven at the age of 95. God loves you.